Hey guys, Jeremy C of the Justice Clubhouse here with a review of Bluestacks. Today I'll be showing you guys how to use this as well as giving my own opinion on the software. So for those of you who don't know what Bluestacks is, it's an emulator which allows you to play mobile games on your PC. And with that, we're able to play these games on better quality, especially since our computer has far better computing power and graphics over mobile devices. You also get faster and more precise gameplay using your keyboard and mouse, as well as being able to play on a larger screen with much better resolution. The fact that we're able to play on PC means that we can save battery life on our phone, as well as offloading our games so that we can save space on our devices. A cool thing about Bluestacks is that you're able to play on multiple accounts simultaneously with multi-instance. You can basically log into multiple Google Play accounts to reroll and farm on games like Lineage 2 and others. Bluestacks offers amazing features, but what's most important is key mapping. So this basically allows you to use certain keys in which you favor for gameplay. And I'll be showing you guys our layout for key mapping on Lineage 2 Revolution right here. Yeah, so basically you're going to want to open up Lineage 2 yes. and then Click on the bottom right here, there's like a mini keyboard on Bluestacks, and it opens up the entire layout for all the, the keys and buttons that you use in the game. Yes. So for our setup, it's basically WASD for movement. Very standard. Mm -hmm. uh, main attack, it's spacebar. Easy to just remember. Just because it's easy to remember, yep. And then for the special attacks, it's the numerical keys, which is one through five. Yes. Uh, one being the closest, or the, the next special attack, and then moving on. Uh, so on and so forth. Y to P, which is Y T U I O and P. Those are extras, like using potions and and whatnot. Yes. And uh, as you can see here, there's like random ones sp spread across the screen. Uh, C is for chat. Uh, Q is for quest, and then M is for the map. And that's pretty much it. That's self-explanatory. Yeah, if you guys want <laughs> to uh, change it to however you like it, we have like a weird setup. It's not like your typical MMORPG. Yeah, because we layout. want everything simple. Yeah, <laughs> it, this is just easy for us All to the buttons remember. Are next to each other. Yeah, so once you do that, you hit save at the top right, and then it saves everything for you, and then you could just close it out, and that's pretty much it. And you could pretty much, uh, other than having the keys there, you can just hit the auto quest and it'll, just <laughs> it'll do everything for you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so basically that's kind of how we set it up and mm -hmm. you guys can customize it any way you want. Yep. Very easy. Yes. So moving on to another great feature, which is multi-instance. And this basically allows you to be logged on to multiple accounts and play games simultaneously. All you got to do is click this button right here, log on to another account, and you're off to continue your grind. And that's pretty much it for this overview of Bluestacks. Uh, I really enjoy using it. It's just so much easier and makes mobile gaming for me so much more fun. And with that being said, please be sure to check out Bluestacks in the link below. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!